Now in the project, we want to break down the work, as I have done it for the project behind me. I'm Christian from Vision 6D, and we are going to see how you can do it too. The project we are going to use is the CRM project. It is split in different phases that we, we see here, initiation, planning, execution, realization, and project closing, like many projects are. A CRM is a customer relation management system. It helps to handle for a company all the customer data, including marketing, sales, billing information, and of course, customer support. I have a video that explains more in detail what is the CRM project that I'm using for many different examples and tutorials about MS Project. Feel free to go and watch the video entitled CRM Introduction. We will now have a look at the inside of this project, the list of tasks that we have. You see that uh, we have here in the beginning the initiation with project proposal approval and so on. And then we'll go to define the requirements. We evaluate solutions. The solution will be an online solution that we will find and at one point we will buy that solution or purchase it and then after there will be some integration work and then test and training of the users and then in the end we set everything in production. So here on the right side I have the Gantt chart. You see it's almost a sequential project. So once this is done you see that we have all the tasks we want to have or we need to have in this project. Now, to be able to number this, to number the work breakdown structure, for this I will have here to go into project. And you see here we have WBS, where I can do one thing here, it's to define the code. So I go in here and here you will see that we will define different level. So the first level is something like planning or execution realization. So it can be in sequence and in the sequence, we are going to say that it will be a number. So the number you see here, we can define the length. It could have any length, but in my case, I would just put two digits and the separator here is a point, it can be a dash, a plus, a slash. So I have defined this for the first level. Now I'm going also to define something similar for the second level. So I could go for letters if you prefer to go for letters, but I'm fine with numbers. And I will say again the same here that I will leave it with two digits and the dot as separator. After that, I can now move here to the third level I want to have. And once again, for me, it's fine if it's number limited to two digits and that's it. So we are going now to see what happens with that kind of number. You will see here up there is a preview of how it will come out. So I say here OK. And you see that for the moment nothing really specific happened. I will here in front now go and insert a column. And the column I'm looking for is WBS. So I put it here and you see that immediately here numbers have come in, have popped in into what I wanted. So in that way, I have numbered with WBS the project. Now I would like the project to have here, you see a project code prefix, like I would like it to be CRM, like that I know about what's going on, which project it is. And there are some additional points here down that I didn't specify. So I want to verify the uniqueness of the new WBS code like that. I'm sure that no two tasks in all the projects will be numbered the same. And 
Whenever I will add a new task, there will be a new WBS code that will be generated for that task. So this being said, I'm going here also to add a dash. And from here, I can say OK. And I will now enlarge this column that we can see completely. So you see CRM01 is initiation, CRM01 is project proposal, CRM0102 is project approval, CRM02 is the planning. So like this, we have a complete WBS numbering of our project. You've seen how easy it is to number a project. So now you can do it on your own CRM project come back to see if there are issues. You can, if you have questions, ask them into comments. I will answer them. And what is left to me is to wish you a good time. You can sum up, like the video, and you can also subscribe to the Vision 6D channel. And I'm glad to meet you for a next tutorial. See you. Bye-bye.